good? It's just another summer morning for Carolyn Everson. Okay, can you pack extra sunscreen? Getting her kids off to camp before heading into Facebook's New York office. You are in good shape. She's a high-tech emissary to Madison Avenue, connecting big brands and big business to Facebook's near billion users. I wouldn't describe myself as a techie. I would describe myself as a marketer and a business person that really thrives on new technology. Did we get the research in front of Andy? As head of global marketing solutions for Facebook, Everson is responsible for how the top 1,500 brands and agencies in the world leverage the social network. It could be money from their PR budgets. It could be money from their direct mail or couponing side. It could be an, a traditional ad budget. It might be sitting in digital. It might be money that's moving between TV, print, and digital, or it might be a social budget. But a marketer looks at their budget holistically. Still, with advertising accounting for 84% of Facebook's revenues in its first quarter as a public company, Everson is one of Facebook's key profit drivers. Everson's path wasn't exactly a straight shot to the top. I think the first thing I wanted to be was actually an anchor woman. I had always admired the women on TV in the morning and the morning shows. Her brother talked her out of the TV news job and into business. While I was in Harvard, I actually worked on a business plan for Pets.com. I'm a professional happy puppet thing. Much and like the internet boom in the late 90s, Everson's dot-com days were brief. Well, Pets.com didn't go according to my plans. It was the symbol of the dot-com bubble burst. Unlike the poster <laughs> child for the dot-com bust, Everson bounced right back moving on to Zagat, Prime Media, and then MTV Networks, where she got her true big break. I ended up being the chief operating officer for the domestic ad sales business, and getting that COO title meant a lot. It was probably the reason for the opportunities that I've had since. Everson says taking advantage of all those opportunities has made her career path look more like a jungle gym than the traditional corporate ladder. If you look back at my career, at any given moment, I could have stayed on the ladder. But I actually chose not to do that. I chose not to be focused on the next promotion or the next opportunity, but rather build my toolkit. She jumped at the chance to run sales and trade marketing at Microsoft. But just a few months into the job, she got a phone call from Sheryl Sandberg. I mean, to have a woman leader like that reach out and say, this is the right thing. There's a very few times in your career where there's going to be a rocket ship. Everson says her journey on that rocket ship has just begun. I think I have a long runway to go at Facebook. One of the things that I am looking to do, though, is to join a public board of directors. And after that? The answer is yes. I do want to run a company someday, whether that's to do something at Facebook and run one of the key businesses or to do it somewhere else, I don't know. but. I would love to run a company someday.